Would you say, as some critics might, that Virginia seems maybe to have lost its way? Yeah, I think the Virginia way is dead. Um, it's it's a part of history that we're nostalgically reaching for, but I just don't think it exists in the modern Virginia that that is a state with a very competitive political environment, a plurality of of of, uh, of power pockets around the state, and a and a political environment that's much more um, um, amenable to lobbyists and outside, you know, uh, business people who want to who want to play in politics. I, I, you know, the, the Virginia way is dead. And if you're not going to have the Virginia way, which, again, implied some some level of virtue that didn't need any rules, um, then you need those rules. Um, and in defense of, of of our of our elected officials, I think um, Delegate Landis makes a point that's really important here. We probably need to give our elected officials more resources. I mean, is it really legitimate to say that we're going to you're going to be a part-time legislator, but you're probably going to work you know 35 hours a week on this job, and we're going to give you something like seventeen thousand five hundred dollars a year to kind of run your office, and we'll give you a full-time staff member, and that's it. We'll pay you um, seventeen eighteen thousand a year. I mean, we probably need to step up to the plate as citizens of Virginia and pay our elected officials more so that they don't have to rely on, you know, outside uh, sources of funding for, say, you know, trips up the road to talk to a group of people or things like that. I mean, I think, you know, there's a lot more to this than just we need tougher ethics laws. I think we need more resources for our elected officials as well. well Michael Pope, what's the next step here? Appeal? Their appeal, the lawyers for the governor have already announced their intention to appeal. It's likely that the jury instructions would be a, a place that you would see some kind of challenge. And um, in terms of what's next in a larger sense, Quentin Kidd says the Virginia way is dead. I, I think now that it's dead, I think a lot of elected officials are looking at themselves in the mirror and wondering if they want to go on that golf trip with a lobbyist. They're wondering if they want to get on the corporate jet of a big time donor. And you got to think that Governor McAuliffe is thinking to himself, do I really want to have this event at the governor's mansion?